This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. It's PSG. They take on Borussia Dortmund, and the action is next on EA TV Live. And good evening to you from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris, the venue for tonight's action. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League semi-final first leg action coming right up for you. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top-quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Lucas Hernandez in central defence. Vitor Ferreira starts with Fabian in the centre of midfield. And handed the task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. Brandt! Smuggled away. And here's the 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Marcel Zabitzer plays. Oh, he's through and go here, Derek. And a goal! The opener in the semi-final. First goal of the contest. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And Mbappe just hits it with such confidence. He strikes it so cleanly. It's a great goal. Borussia Dortmund restart the match. Will that goal have the effect of stinging them into action? It is going to be a Dortmund free kick. Marcel Zabitza. Hummers. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. And making the move to the inside. Nicely timed tackle. Now they'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Nuno Mensch. Very quick thinking there. And Dortmund exploiting the space on the flank. Well, disappointing end to the move. And threaded through by Mbappe. Well, it goes down as an opportunity squandered. Not that the goalkeeper is complaining. Well, I have to say, that's a poor effort from a very good position. He should be scoring there. Well, Dortmund have it back now. And that is offside. Marquinhos now with Hakimi Mbappe superb defensive judgment to end the attack surely the equaliser Sancho and it's there for him and the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Mm -hmm. 
Over it comes. And knocked out of there. Sancho. Is it going to be? And that's it. A goal for Borussia Dortmund to square things here. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So back underway following the equaliser. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And the counter looks on here, options available. Well, they promised much on the break, but ultimately delivered little. Will he finish? Oh, that is a wonderful piece of challenging. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. And holding us up effectively. Paris Saint-Germain with the ball again. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. To jump in front. Will it be? Well, it's not going to count. Flag up quickly then. Yeah, he was offside by quite a bit there, and he knew it. How can he take them on and beat them? Could cross it in here. Fabian. Oh, a smart stop. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Short corner favoured. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Brandt. Zabica. And passing it through. And he could cash in. Oh, superb save. Massive credit to the keeper. Well, he's so hard to beat in these situations. It's brilliant goalkeeping. Fabian he read the situation defensively and did his job and teammates around him well nothing comes of it it looked promising chance maybe to use their counter attacking ability to good effect can they use their pace well that's a really good authoritative tackle throw in here Nicely timed tackle. Marcel Zabica. And slipped through beautifully. Still possibilities. Now let's see what Dortmund have been rehearsing in training. Corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Well, the verdict's on Kylian Mbappe. In a word, positive. Yeah, I think he'd be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal and a good overall performance from him. But the next goal is going to be key, I think.
So here we go, the start of the second half at the home of PSG, the Pat de Pras. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Plenty of support here. Can they put it away? Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Sancho. Emre Can now. Committed challenge. Well, they know they need to stop him. Played into the centre. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, it is a caution, and quite frankly, he can't really quibble. No, it's been coming, hasn't it? He's got to be careful now. He could get a red if he's not careful. Oh, that's a fine save. Corner kick played in. Just the clearance that was needed. Well, PSG have it back now. Mbappe. Marquinhos Fabian Really good challenge Now can he get on the end of this one? And there! Can they keep it out? And he gobbles up the second chance Disappointment for the keeper No wonder he's asking questions of his defence well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent.
Well, back underway here, and they've split the four goals between them so far. Hernandez. Minch. Good tackle. Marquinhos. Now with Akimi. And the Schwarz Gelben have it back now. Promising sequence. And the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Fabian deserves credit for winning the ball back. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Sebastian Allaire. PSG recovering possession well. Emre Can. France with it. Allaire. Dortmund sloppy in possession here. Mbappe. Opportunity here. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. Let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. Can they use it to their advantage? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Marco Reus. Emre Can now. They have to be bold, Borussia Dortmund, in these circumstances. Zule. Fabian. Here's Mbappe. And Dortmund regaining possession. Madsen. Five minutes left. A very good tackle. PSG looking dangerous. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Well, you have to conclude, Stuart, an opportunity wasted. Yeah, and the other players are furious with it, and rightly so. That's such a poor free kick. And taking it away, Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. Into the box it goes. Now, can they hit them on the counter? 
and the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Really nice ball. He's in here. Couldn't put it away, and that could be so costly at this juncture. Yeah, that's so frustrating. I'm not sure they'll get another chance to get back into this game. Intense pressure. Donnarumma. Well, no stopping him. He's in behind. And with that, the referee brings this knockout stage contest to an end. Paris Saint-Germain with the advantage, one that they will now carry into the decisive second leg of the tie. Well, at this stage of the tournament, you'd take any lead going into that second leg. I tell you what, though, this tie is far from over. Very little to split between the two sides, and it's set up perfectly for round two. Well, just the sort of performance they were looking for from the talented Kylian Mbappe. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him.